step. PSA, this is a moving walkway, so you're supposed to walk on a walkway. If you were supposed to stand here, it wouldn't be called a walkway, it would be called a standway. We are at Universal today. We're hanging out at Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. And we have this new little camera that we're testing out. So this isn't gonna be like a super formal video that we normally do. We're just gonna kind of hang out and show you guys around some of the fun holiday things. And play, play with this little, little tiny mic. And explore some Polynesian islands. I, right, islands? Islands of adventure. Polynesian? Hawaii? What? Okay, let, let's go. Let's go inside. <laughs> I feel like I have a rabbit. That's a dead cat, not a rabbit. You murdered this kitten? Shh. I'm gonna call PETA on you. So something super fun about Universal, one thing I do like about Universal is that they really just don't take themselves super seriously. And I enjoy that. And one of those things is, I guess several years ago, they have this big Christmas tree, right? And there was this squirrel that lived in the Christmas tree and was chewing on the lights. And I guess they named the squirrel, what's his name? Earl. Earl. Earl the Squirrel, and he kind of became like the Christmas holiday mascot of Universal, and so now they have merch. They, I guess, have like a meet and greet. It's like a whole thing. It's pretty hilarious, and I love that it just came about because the squirrel decided to live in their Christmas tree, chewing up their ornaments. The merch is really cute. I've officially had this camera for, what, like 10 minutes and I already got cheese on the camera. It's fine. Anyways, what are we doing, Mark Allen? Green eggs and ham tots. <laughs> are they good? This little mic thing is weird. I don't know how I feel about it. I got the buffalo chicken tots. I tried the um, cheese because it was on the camera, you know, and the cheese is pretty good. Okay, let's give... My tots a try. Get some chicken in there too. Those are pretty bomb. I got the wrong one. <laughs> These are delicious. That's a much bigger portion than mine too. I guess now you know, when you come to Universal, don't get green eggs and ham, get- I mean the green eggs- Buffalo chicken tots. They're fine. I just want more flavor. This has more flavor. So, something we will not be doing today is the Grinch meet and greet. I'm actually doing a Grinch character breakfast later this week, and I'll be doing a full video on that experience. So hopefully we'll get to meet the Grinch then, but the line right now is like 300 minutes, and I'm not doing that, sorry. <laughs> My tip, I would say, if you are coming here to do this, is like, this should probably be your very first stop in the morning is to go meet the Grinch like absolutely first thing. Otherwise, you can book that Grinch breakfast. I would not wait 300 minutes. It's a very cool meet and greet. Not worth it for 300 minutes. How many hours is that? Too many to calculate. Four, I think. 
I don't know. I can't math. That's too much math. Let's go to Harry Potter. Where are you getting from Harry Potter? Dessert. <laughs> what? But what? I don't know. Whatever's calling. Whatever. I want a pumpkin pasty. Those are my favorite. We are officially in Hogsmeade and we got our snacks. I got my favorite from Honeydukes. It's a pumpkin pasty. What did you get? I got a pumpkin cake. I've never had this before. Oh, there's like filling on the inside of it. Wow. That's very sweet. <laughs> See, I like the pumpkin pasties because they're a fun little pastry treat, but they're not super sweet. I like it. I wouldn't. Oh, no. It's like, no, it's too sweet. They, way too sweet. Ding dang. <laughs> Mark wants to ride this ride. It's too long to wait, and our express path doesn't kick in until another two hours. This is not eligible for express. You're right. Forget what I said. Sorry, boo. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, ring the homeward bell. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, So that was the Hogwarts Choir, or Hogwarts Frog Choir, which technically they always have that. But this time of year they're doing like fun Christmas songs. Uh, it's always really entertaining because just to see like the different students interact with each other with their houses and everything. And they're really talented. The music's really fun. So definitely check that if you happen to be here. Honestly, any time of year. But Christmas is extra fun. Did you like that, Mark? No, but no. It's fun. It's just hot. <laughs> it's hot in the sun. It is a really hot day today. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Duck. Mrs. Duck, I, excuse me. Would you like to say something on the video? It says no. Oh, did, did you have a, did you, did you need a word? It's quacking up at me. I just noticed that's a face. Yep. We've got about an hour till the Grinch show or Dr. Seuss show the Seussical musical show, holiday show, I don't know what it's called. We're gonna go watch the <laughs> Dr. Seuss holiday show. So, Mark Allen left me. I need to go find him. I found him. Mark! Mark Allen! Where are you going? You're running away from me! Just a heads up, the next show is at 
we just got in line at 2.32 and there's already like a whole bunch of people in line. So if you are wanting to see, I found out the name is the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular. That's the name of it. If you are wanting to see that show, get in line super early. Super, super early. It's joyful and triumphant. The Grinch hates Christmas. The whole Christmas season. Now, please don't ask why. You wouldn't quite know the reason. It could be that his head is screwed on quite It could be perhaps that his shoes are too tight. Ow. I think the most likely reason of all may just be that his heart is too size is too small. <laughs> Oh, what a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I'll look just like St. Nick. <gasps> I'm speaking in rhymes. Blast! Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. Touch me with a 39 and a half foot pole. Islands of Adventure. That show is really fun. It was cute. But the parade's getting ready to start soon, so we are heading over to Universal Studios to try and go find a spot for that. I think where we're wanting to watch, it'll be more the end of the parade route, so I think we still got some time. Because right after the parade, we have to get a spot for... Mannheim Steamroller. Christmas. I'm so excited. So there's two ways to get from park to park. You can walk, which is what we're doing, or you can do the Hogwarts Express, which is the Harry Potter train. However, keep in mind, you have to have a park to park ticket. I will never recommend to anybody to get a single park ticket when you come to Universal because the parks are literally so stinking close. Honestly, it just doesn't make sense to only pick one, so. For example, if you've been to Disneyland, it's literally like Disneyland and DCA. They're that close. Yeah, they're they're very, very close. It is significantly smaller and more close together than Disney. So I always recommend getting the park to park ticket. Okay, so then as also as we're playing with this camera today, there's this cute little like teeny tiny little lens that you can put on that makes it wide angle. So look, now you can see us both. Do we look more vloggy? Oh my gosh. Anyways. We're just walking on this pathway over to Universal. It is a busy, busy day. Also, to some, we've done lots of dining reviews here. We'll link that in the lots. description. We've only done one dining review here. There. I, I thought we had done multiple. No, we've dined there multiple times, but we've only done one dining review. Regardless, that'll be linked in the description box below. <laughs> it's usually a hit or miss. Honestly, get the burger and get the shakes. Those are good. We found a spot. The fireworks, or not fireworks, parade. <laughs> so Mannheim Steamroller is happening at this like outdoor theater area right outside of uh, Rip Ride Rocket. Yeah. We found a spot for the parade basically right near that because pretty much right after. Ooh, I'm excited. They're, they're <laughs> sound checking. <laughs> I'm pumped. But right now, Mark Allen's gonna go get me a snack. Wait, what? I didn't agree to that. Yeah, you did. What kind of snack? I don't know. So 
surprise me. Do you like some banana flavored popcorn? Absolutely not. No, not none of that. Minion tots. I'm thinking like a pretzel. Okay. So we just watched the parade. What'd you think? That was the longest parade I've ever seen in my life. We literally that was stood third, in that spot that's for 30, 30 minutes. That's a 30 minute long parade. Granted, it did keep stopping in spots. So I don't know if maybe they like they were having trouble with some of the balloons surrounding the corner. But it is really cool. It, it's it a is fun a parade. very fun parade. It's a fun parade. We are at the outdoor concert venue thing right in front of Rip Red Rocket waiting for Mannheim Steamroller. I'm really excited. This was honestly the whole reason why we came today because tonight and tomorrow night are the last performances that they're doing this year and I'm very excited. We did hear them doing sound checks earlier and it sounded really good. Also what's the likelihood of us getting hot butter beer after this? That's we will see. The park closes at 8, and this starts at 7. I'm hoping it will maybe only be 30 minutes. That way we can just, like, beeline over to diagonally before it closes at 8. Diagonally? Diagonally. All right. Wish us luck. Welcome to Universal Studios Florida and a very special holiday presentation. The Christmas music of Mannheim Steamroller by Chip Davis. Okay, the park is officially closed. We made it over to City Walk and we needed dinner. So we're trying a new restaurant. We're at Cowfish. I think this technically is a chain restaurant, but essentially they have burgers and sushi, which Mark Allen doesn't like fish, but I love sushi. So it's like literally the best of both worlds and I'm very excited. We've wanted to try this for a long time, but we just never made it. You can technically do walk up, but when we got here, uh, it was full for the night, so I encourage you to make reservations if you think that you are planning on dining here, just because I would hate for you to not be able to come. So make a reservation. You can actually do it in the app. It was super easy, so that's great. Did you tell them what you ordered? No. She ordered my roll. <laughs> Why do you have to say it like that? It's called the Mark's Roll as well. Okay, I got a bento box and you can pick from a few different rolls. I got the Mark's Roll because Mark told me to get that. Because it's his name. It is my name. Anyway, I got... I already forgot the name of it. Hang on. It's like a filet sushi roll. No fish because we all know how I feel about fish. I feel so professional with this little microphone. <laughs> we also got a crab rangoon dip for an appetizer. So if Kayla didn't already tell you, this restaurant is called Cowfish. Not to be confused with an actual cowfish. They do have a cowfish like statue thing that you can sit on and take a picture with. But the whole menu is cow, beef, burgers, and fish in the form of sushi. We've got our crab rangoon dip and oh my goodness, this looks yummy, yummy, yummy. It's so soft, like, I don't want to say soft. It's like very um, creamy, smooth. I don't know, it looks really good. Oh, it's hot. That's really good. It's cream cheesy and delicious. This is the Doug's filet roll. 
it's so funny because it like it looks like real sushi. Definitely spicy, but it's a cold sushi. I was expecting it to be warm because of the filet on top, but it's not. It's it's cold. I would definitely recommend if you don't like sushi. This is a very approachable take on sushi. It's really, it's really good. So I did try my edamame already, and that was pretty good. It's edamame. You can't really mess that up. Uh, my little tiny burger it looks so cute, but what I'm going to try is one of these sushi rolls because I feel like that's the most unique tasting thing on this plate. They look really good. And yeah, I know. I'm a monster. I'm just picking it up with my fingers. Ooh, uh, that looks yummy. Same thing. That has just the right amount of kick to it. The fish is really good. It is a cold. So even though it's like fried, it is a cold roll. So it's not a hot roll. I did like that they had a lot of like more unique sushi flavors, but also more approachable sushi dishes. So if you're like new to sushi, there are some really great ones to try to kind of get you into like the textures and flavors and it's really good. This all and this is a very good portion. Like so, this whole thing was about twenty two ish dollars. Mark Allen's roll was about twenty two dollars, and both are really, really good portions. Mark Allen has demolished his plate. It's literally been like three minutes. Mark Allen, did you like your food? I did. It was so good. My nose is sorry. I'm like sniffing because my nose is running. That was. It was spicy. Definitely not the spiciest sushi I've had. I would definitely recommend if you're coming to Universal, I think this is my new favorite in City Walk. Not that we've eaten a lot of places in City Walk, but I think this is the best food we've had at Universal. Would you agree? Kayla agrees. I would agree. This is delicious. And I do. I really like the blend of the sushi for people who like the sushi and then the non-sushi stuff for people who don't like sushi but still kind of want a little bit of that action. Oh my gosh, this is delish. I will probably be back here very soon. <laughs> Mark Allen didn't tell me that they have milkshakes. We got the turtle cheesecake milkshake. There's crunchy bits. So it's caramel, like all your normal ingredients have like a turtle sundae. I honestly think I like the Tucson milkshakes better. That's really good. I don't know what you're talking about. This is going to make my tummy hurt later, but it's so good. And that concludes our night here at Universal Studios Orlando. Universal Orlando Resort. Yeah, we. I mean, we technically did both parks. Yes. Even though we didn't ride any rides. Honestly, we weren't. We, we got here a little late start today, so... We didn't really have enough time to do everything that we wanted to do, but we had a grand old time. We got to do some new stuff. I think the shows were a lot of fun. The food was really good. And we tested out this new camera. And let us know down in the comments how you yeah. thought it looked slash sounded, because the mic and everything is new. Brand new. So also, again, apologies if this video is a little bit weird and haphazard. Like we said, we are testing out this new camera. Um, so we're just, we're trying some different stuff. This is not gonna necessarily be our main camera. This will be more when Kayla does solo vlogs, so. And if you want more holiday <laughs> offerings that we've reviewed here in Orlando, those videos will be linked at the end, so make sure you watch those. And let us know if you've dined at Cowfish before because that was our first time, and honestly, we loved it. We'll definitely be back. And don't forget to subscribe. Because I know there's a lot of you that watch our videos that aren't subscribed. You need to subscribe so that you don't actually miss the videos that we post. Because we do all kinds of fun stuff. And we're going to be doing a lot more. But that's all we have for you guys today. Now, go, go create your ever after. I'm singing over the copyright. I'm singing oh, over the nice. copyright music of my heart like nifty methods less than nifty less nifty very like modern-y I don't know how to describe it how do you describe it fishy. it's not fishy <laughs> it's a little fishy it doesn't smell fishy though which I appreciate